So we moved here in 2001. We had 13 dead and dying trees on the property and we felt that one way we could help was start putting back trees in. So during the 2019 bushfires, we lost everything that we had planted. Not only the extensive lines and shelter belts that we'd planted, but see the old grandfather trees go. That was so sad. So 2020, my plan was to replace the tree lines that we'd lost. And I did uh, pick up a couple of thousand trees thinking, get land care groups in to come and help. Then COVID came and then no one could come in and it's really tough planting trees by yourself. <laughs> So we've got the crews from CMA here and they're planting trees and planting shelter belt plants that are really for climate change. Hopefully they can withstand our drier years that are, that are to come. And it's a lot of trees. It's a couple of thousand trees to get done over the few days. And um, it's brilliant what they're doing. It's going to make a big difference. So Werribee Zoo is committed to a future rich in wildlife and Part of that is connecting people to nature, um, working for wildlife and creating special places. The CMA team really helped us after COVID. So through COVID process, we were really busy at the zoo and also with the care of our animals on site, including our endangered animal programs. It's been great having the crew here really. We've been able to get into some um, big jobs with you know multiple people, so big crew of, of uh, extra hands on the ground so that's fantastic and what it means is we can work to our um, Ruby River management plan so that included a lot of um, mulching, weed control, tree guard removal, things like that. We have some very passionate teachers here who are very interested in caring for the remnant bushlands and we have a beautiful bushland uh, reserve at the back of our school that we are working hard to protect. So we wanted to make sure that we could spend some time and put some energy into making sure that we could make people aware of that and also protect it. Okay. And also be able to um, allow students to come out and have some awareness of nature and connection to nature and the importance of that for their health and wellbeing. Some of the work we've been um, focusing on here is weed management and um, also bushfire prevention. In terms of COVID and lockdown, we've been lucky enough to have a few partnerships with people or groups. And now the work also here from um, Port Phillip with working on the weed management, particularly the ivy uh, work uh, around the block as well. This crew has been fantastic. They're a really great bunch of people, um, skilled and, and enthusiastic. It's just been really fun. I've really enjoyed working with the crew. It's been absolutely wonderful having the crews here. They're a great bunch of people and they're really interested in what they're doing too. We could not be in the position that we're in now without the assistance from the crew. So having a crew come like this and clear the space uh, enables some of us, an interested party of teachers, to come out here as work as well as bring our students out and be part of that. I'd just really like to thank the CMA and Landcare and everybody who was involved in making this project happen. It means an enormous amount to me, so I'm incredibly grateful and I'd just really like to say thank you. Thank you. <laughs>